a biological clock all women do and the realization that it's ticking but what if tomorrow i do not find anybody and i want to have a child and i am not able to then what do i do i am in a lose lose situation i absolutely feel that i am a champion and i have fought for it and i also want every woman to be a champion of their own journey they should decide their own life i have to go for egg freezing and at a later date if i want i would be able to have a child I'm Anshul Chaudhary. I am 35. I am a lawyer in Delhi. I think living as a single woman in the city at this age is nothing but challenges. It's it's very unfortunate how single women who have lived alone made a life for themselves and worked so hard to be what they are in every chosen field of their profession to be portrayed as some kind of not suitable partner or a better half in this life. I think last since last year I'm closer because I have and my family have tried and very hard to find a partner and a potential partner for me and I feel that I'm not no very clear closer to finding anybody Every woman deserve choices and the biological clock should not restrict it I'm Dr Rubina I'm a fertility specialist since last 10 years. Almost delivered more than 5000 to 7000 babies and uh, I love my profession. It's my passion. Egg freezing itself is a process which gives women a reproductive freedom and this is what is required because India is going through transition where you know women are thinking of going ahead in their career you know your reproductive responsibility and your professional responsibility both of them are equally important egg freezing is something in which women egg is extracted then frozen and stored for like a number of years for like 10 years 20 12 years 15 years for like till the time you know person wants to conceive and uh, you know have a child we start giving injections these injections are given for around 10 to 12 days the whole idea of giving these injections is to increase the size of the eggs and once the these eggs reaches around 18 to 20 mm we extract them so after extracting them we put them in a straw like a structure and then we put it in liquid nitrogen cylinders this is the complete process in terms of egg freezing of course the biological results of how viable i am or <clears throat> you know the process is in terms of my health and body and the results of the medical determinations would of course play a factor of uh, whether i should go through it or not there is no right or wrong to go for egg freezing and to have a child hello hi i'm fine beautiful house whatever decision she takes she should be fully motivated for it and by giving her those tasks i i wanted her to taste you know this first so i want her to be thrilled to go ahead with this procedure and then decide what she wants to do in this life this is no my sole duty is to mentor her oh, wow and who is this one this is neel hi neel come here Hi. Do you know they are egg freezing babies? Are they? Yeah. Really? Oh, this I didn't know. Hi. <laughs> Two and oh, oh. <laughs> you cannot do that. It's a playful <laughs> one. So when did you like 
freeze your eggs. So <laughs> that time I was 29. Really? Going to uh, yeah, turning 30. But married? No, unmarried. Unmarried only. Yeah. Actually, you did it on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did. I have something for you. Okay. So wow. I know. Wow. <laughs> and so see, I know motherhood is very challenging, and I have to face these challenges every day. You have to feed them in 20 minutes. One for him, one but for him. But if they're not hungry, please. Yeah, I'll go them. and get ready, and please. <laughs> Bye. Oh, oh, mama, mama is there. Okay, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hello. First one bite. Hello. Mm, oh, lovely. Have this. Is it nice? Banana. One bite. Yeah, Can you do it every day? Three times a day? With one, yeah, I think. I, but two, I don't think, no. So two is not going to happen. <laughs> I don't think that's scary. Actually, scary, yes. Uh, how are you managing? Only you know. So Neil was very playful. I had a fun time with him. I was following around and like, we were doing high fives and you know, I was talking to him, though it was, of course, a monologue because, you, like, you know, they're not, they don't speak. But it was kind of fun. Now you have to go and buy the full, <laughs> complete list for my kids. Okay. in just five minutes. Cholo, let's see how it plays out. I really don't know. Five minutes is enough time, but because it's a challenge, I don't know. Let's see. I'm living the life. I mean, I'm in Delhi, I'm alone, I have the money in the sense that I'm earning and spending on my own. I'm, I have had living alone. I think that cannot be traded with. There is no price that you can put on it. My peers who have got married have good lives and uh, have children and have everything. And they're just in a bubble and they, what, what do they do? They just get up, get ready for their, you know, husbands and they send their children to school. Thank you. It is not that it is easy. This life would be very chaotic if I was a mother at this point of time. I would need extra set of hands. I would need to outsource a lot of things that I do on my own. Come, let me see what you've got for kids. Oh, yes. I hope it is according to your list. Tear free, tear free. You wrote tear free. I saw tear free, yes. <laughs> Rashtreem lollipop. Wow. Yes. 10 on 10. Thank you. Motherhood is the greatest and most rewarding uh, and the most hard work that has to be put in because you're bringing up a future generation. Uh, but the realization, maybe it might sound a little odd, but the realization of having two kids of the same age at the same time, <laughs> yeah, that kind of, I think, is a realization which I have been thinking is something I don't think I would be up for, not not right now, like maybe one kid, yeah, but two of the same age. The sole purpose of, I think, women being married in a conventional sense in this country is to keep the progeny going and the family name going. When the entire reason of you getting married and the whole premise is to have children, or why is the idea uncomfortable to people? Because I am actually ensuring what you are wanting as, as an end goal. Bhavna is a very close friend of mine and we know each other since uh, our college days. She can give me a view that I may not be able to see a perspective which is, you know, uh, not custodian like mine or maybe, you know, is a different view of the world of how people would look at this process if I, you know, go through with it. See, the whole process of egg freezing is you take the eggs out of your body and you keep it, you store it somewhere else. It's unnatural. Why I'm setting you for this kind of challenge is because egg freezing has a lot of apprehension. So I want you to talk to your friend and try to defend. Don't you think it's an unnatural process? No, I don't think it's unnatural. Why should it be an unnatural it's process? Artificial, yeah. Artificial, how is it? It's achieving something no, it's in, by other means. But it's not there in your body. I mean, you're, you're taking out your eggs, you're freezing it somewhere. How will you prove that? 
अंडे दे रहे हैं नहीं नहीं ये तो प्रोसेस इज वेरीफाइड पीपल डू इट इसमें क्या इज माई एग्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज लेटर टू बिकम अ मदर बट यू नो यू फ्रीजिंग योर एग्स विल इट बी लाइक यू नो अ टैबू सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग एंड लेबल यू एज लड़की में कोई खराबी है urban india women are wanting to do that but what if your potential partner is not really okay with the idea that oh you froze on your eggs you know why did you do that and why did you not wait questions about how it would look to potential in laws or potential partner is something that couple of friends did bring up oi oi kahan gayi nothing nothing तो एक चीज ये होगी यू नो यूल बी लेबल्ड एज एक्स यू नो योर सून गोइंग टू बी एक्सपायर्ड और योर रीचिंग दैट एज वॉट हाउ विल यू डू इल दैट बट दैट इज अ फैक्ट आई एम नियर माई एक्सपायरी उसी लिए तो सब कुछ करने हैं दैट आई इंश्योर दैट एक्सपायरी के बाद भी आई एम एबल टू बिकम अ मदर इट शुड बी गुड फॉर अ पार्टनर बिकॉज माई वैल्यू इन मैरिज मार्केट विल कीप ऑन डिक्रीजिंग एज आई माई एज इंक्रीजेज इंडिया इट सेल्फ इज अ वेरी कंजर्वेटिव सोसाइटी एट द सेम टाइम दर इज नॉट मच अवेयरनेस अराउंड दिस प्रोसेस so people are uh, people don't take it in a very healthy way i am going to tell you to get two tests done right first is the blood test that is anti mullerian hormone test amr as a blood linkage ultrasound and then comprehensively we'll take I'm inching towards the decision. So I think uh, yes, I'm trying to be positive and I'm hoping that um, it's a good result. So I'm going to tell her to get the basic blood test which is required for egg freezing and an ultrasound why because uh, you know I also want to know that whether scientifically or medically whether she's a fit candidate to even get enrolled in this process or not. so for egg freezing procedure because i know that much that it needs maintenance and it's a reoccurring cause with this year and the last year, i think uh, with the pandemic there has been a realization i have i have had dear dear friends who have lost their jobs this time has made us all realize that we are all dispensable at any point of time in that scenario undergoing a process like this which requires financial commitment of course is a matter of concern okay anjan it's done i was uh having lack of information about the procedure the technical part the biological you know issues the financial commitment to resources uh so there were a lot of doubts that got clarified in the challenges that i was put through uh so yes i'm inching towards uh, you know getting it done but i am there 90% i won't say 100% maybe a little more uh little more uh, introspection on my part and uh, a little more planning my role here uh, was as a mentor who could you know help her reach to a decision second as a doctor who could you know tell her create awareness around the procedure now she has to decide and she has to be the winner of her own game considering my age and my test results i would want to have a decision as quick as possible uh so the time sensitivity of it is one of the major factors here that i have to decide um, quite quickly i i feel uh, that all women out there and this is my realization after the three challenges i was put through this wonderful journey that women should take charge of their lives women should take charge of their reproductive choices